jungles. Specifically about the Philippines, and um, you may go and uh, choose this place uh, for long stay, like summer house. I don't know, different reasons. Well, my advice gonna go is go to the beautiful places like where is beautiful nature, natural beauty. Stay away from uh, civilization. Stay away from uh, urban, not maybe urban, not really urban places here. Stay from villages. It's still too noisy. It's still too noisy. You see, the the problem is with them. The early stage of industrialization. Let's get rough on edges. Like loud bikes. So many regulations is still not in place, so I guess it's much better to be closer to the nature. Like I was yesterday in a beautiful place, in the mountains, not about mountains, but the hills. Such a beautiful uh, jungle. Yes, here you have your old tracks. Old trucks, old cars, bikes with bad exhaust. If those trucks would be new one with a regulated exhaust system, and not bad fumes and uh, no loud noises, that would be good. But, but it is what it is. It's still kind of very primitive, primitive transportation here. Hello, hello, hello. That's my neighbor. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's like a basic stuff, basic stuff and everything. So you're not gonna be enjoying basic stuff, specifically if you're going from the places where the basic stuff had been like 40 years ago. So, well, that's a fact, so that's advice. Go a little bit more deeper and closer to the nature. Hello, hello, hello! So, well, nothing wrong with the, with the native, the native population, native people. Not in Thailand, not in Indonesia, not in the Philippines. No, everything is okay. But the thing is, they have no means to organize the environment where they're living in, in the best possible way. As you see, it's, it's, it's like in the middle of the, of the something. Middle of the beginning. I would say. Beginning, beginning of the fencing, beginning, beginning building the roads, beginning uh, building infrastructure. It's everything in a, in a just stage of just something. At least it's working and that's, it's enough. So yeah, my advice go to closer nature and just to find the beautiful spots of the nature. And they are here. So beautiful views from yesterday. And uh, you will be much more happy if you 
we're gonna try uh, assimilate in the local environment, you'll get used to that, that's also true. Like I'm here how many months? Like two, two months, two months I'm here already. So my old senses are kind of uh, numb, which is bad because the more number you are, the less sorry, the less responsive you are. How can you invent something here? How you can um, do something you know, very precise? It's not possible. You know? So uh, noise around you and uh, destruction. No, it's, it's just not possible. I don't want to even uh, dive deep in that. Just know, and that's it. So, but I'm I'm not uh, I'm not anymore so uh, edgy and stuff. So. Uh, uh, our beauty place. I'm not so edgy anymore, so uh, I kind of uh, don't hear <laughs> anymore those roosters, particularly the dogs, and and I don't see anymore. It's not like catch my eye. I'm not so edgy anymore with the with the stray dogs and so on. But in the same time, I'm not so catchy anymore with this one also, which is true. Which is true, you see? And let's see the waterfall, which I also don't like. Everything gets more number, and uh, this is what it is. Truth of the life. Oh, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful place. I'm gonna go for the swim. I'm gonna go right here. So, yeah. And uh, like, if you compare, for example, with uh, with Japan, it's it's also a very industrialized place, and not also it's a very industrialized place in all, all the rights and all the way. But the regulations are in place. The trucks are new, and uh, there are no loud bikes, no loud cars. You know, exhausts are managed, you know, because the cars are new. So it could be, uh, but the question is uh, when and how much money you need for that, and if the Philippines will be able to get this money. And as for the moment, I think it seems like no, it's not going to happen in a, in, a, in, a, in a decade. But it's going to be interesting place to visit, travel, and uh, if you're going to go a little bit more higher in, in, the, in the hills and mountains, you're going to see the beautiful, clean nature, which is a very valuable thing. That's a little bit something. What good thing I can say about Filipinos? Even when they're drunk, they just sing and dance and they don't get aggressive. I just see so many people around the pubbing uh, culture back in Europe. They drink and they get ag aggressive, you know, this typical you know, British <laughs> or Irish pubbing stuff. Peeping like, oh, people kind of uh, get, you know, Look, watch for the football games or other kind of funny thing and they get other funny thing they get a little bit aggressive mm. oh so pleasant water warm one so yeah each time when I travel the nature or go hillsides I appreciate the value of it. And I go back, even don't want to go back. <laughs> Gotta drive, drive back from your natural beauty. In small town, it's kind of dusty, polluted. Stray dogs around, chaos. And I think, yeah, want to go back. And you need to be realistic about that. <laughs> I think is in life, once you begin to lie yourself, you're gonna spoil everything for yourself. You need to be honest with yourself, the people around you. Keep intelligent, smart, tolerant. And at the same time, honest. The honesty is the value which we, as societies around the world, forget because we're sinking in lies. Like everything around us are lies. Advertisement, government, like everything. That's the blah 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 blah. So the value of the 
truth in the age of the smart technologies is very very high because also the our computers and our internet systems they gonna tell you truth you know it doesn't matter what you want what you say what the government say what anybody says you know your computer your machine is gonna say what's wrong what's right based on statistics and those human values which is accumulated around the world we share them they are very same if you see something good you're gonna say good and the computer gonna say good and doesn't matter what your government or whatever company gonna say you say oh it's not like that the computer gonna say yes it is good like this one some may say wow you know I like more snow I like more cold climate cloudy the computer gonna say no no you take mistake 99% of the people or 90% of the people like this like blue green water white sand beach they like it so and this is just a simple ex example of this it's everything about the foods and lifestyle the values and attitudes and honesty and and, and all those human values which you we have been accumulated thousands and thousands of years before religions, before the governments, before the countries and everything. We were sharing all those values. So computer and internet are gonna tell us what is what and what is the value, real value in life. They're gonna tell you also, that's a value. Well, it's time to go for a swim. Well, such a quiet day today. And just a few people on the beach. Some foreigners, some local guys. This is a diving boat. And you can see those white, white patches. They're totally clean from seaweeds and everything, so you can totally enjoy the swimming there. There's no sea urchins, no seaweed. Well, there you have a little bit of civilization. Well, it is what it is. You can't argue with the facts. The boat like this for sale. 30,000 pesos. I wonder how we can keep this boat here in the, in the coastline. What could be regulations? What the local guys gonna say about that? But with this one you can travel all the way there. Hamila Khan. That's a local gazebo. Shooting down there. Plywood bolts, yeah, you need to get, take care of them, paint, keep on the, on the shore that they dry out. Mm. Yeah, civilization, of course, is. You see, oh, that's, that's the main problem with uh, the Asia in general. 
too much garbage. Oh, well. Yeah, it's Yeah, of course it's uh, better go by boat like this, the rubber one. So you can pack it and keep it in your storage. Once you're ready to go, you just deploy it. How safe to leave a boat like this outside is also the question. Well, this one, it's uh, not, nobody gonna steal this one. More than sure. But this kind of boat, yeah, if it's portable, it could be stealable. See the bottom of the boat. Yeah, give up with everything down below. Eventually, after a hundred coats of the coloring, painting, let's get the plastic key. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We see a little bit of. I don't know it's a design thing or I always when I see some kind of design stuff I always wonder what this person was thinking at that time. This is totally flat one. my hour on the beach and yeah well, lucky for me I'm living here in the close proximity and here we have see the clouds coming over and that's the thing here December was very rainy for my taste a little bit too rainy I, I would not uh, consider next time to stay here in December Dubai is good. February is a little bit too cold, maybe in Dubai. Otherwise, December is still good. Then uh, Bali was more or less better than here. Then Philippines in uh, December, but from the March it's gonna be summertime here, so it's gonna be warm and sunny. How warm is now? Today I guess it's around 30 degrees. Maybe 29. Not so hot. Actually I will say so that the um, evenings here can be chilly. Maybe 26. When you ride the bike it could be even cold. You need a long pants, a jacket, maybe even two jackets. So. As a sleeping temperature is comfortable, it's not too hot, which is good. So in general, Philippines temperature is good. Could be a little bit warmer. Actually, if I if I say what I like, I like Bali temperature. 
That's that's correct in any possible sense. It's for me like best temperature. It's 30, 32 degrees. The sea, ocean is warmer. And the sea, ocean, like I always say, sea or ocean. <coughs> All around the islands there's a small sea. Sea, sea. And then you have a big ocean. So, you go out from one sea to other sea and you travel the oceans. Yeah, see this this guy. Um, of course the dogs they they do their duty to protect the house. Oh, that's such disturbance. Whoa 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 whoa. So temperature wise it's more or less could be a little bit warmer. Summertime the weather will be good. Climate wise, the rainy season, dry season, also more or less. It's not perfect. You're gonna get by. But you need to catch the timing. I die now I'm catching one hour in the sun, maybe one, two hours in the sun. And then it's gonna be cloudy. And it's gonna be a little bit rainy. <laughs> As always, everything in life a little bit compromising. Small talk compromises here and there. This is very interesting, you know, how they get the building permit here on the beach. The first line, next to the, next to the sea. Maybe very old uh, building was reconstructed. And I don't know, is, is this is a resort or is it a living house? I'm not sure about that. Having to figure out. Because, um, yeah. That's a small beach house which I like. See this one. White one. Mm -hmm. You guys have to school chilling down in the sea. I feel like I'm getting getting gitchy. So it seems like I'm gonna be finished. Sunbathing for me, let me see. Yeah, I guess we need to choose for that. Better not overdose. Le less is more. Those are the tropical wipes. Get my dose of tropical light, yeah. Pumping musical around. Well, I guess the culture of the noise is going to be uh, diminishing here also. More industrialized uh, the nation gets, uh, more they appreciate the silence. As for moment, yeah, they still think it's interesting. <laughs> I remember my you know, early age when I was DJing. I remember the discussion about the music and. Uh, Idea was like that. They say that it's, you're not gonna like this all the time. And I was thinking, what the heck? What you're talking? It's so nice. This beat, like bam, bam. This took me like I don't know, maybe five, ten years. Yeah, and I changed my mind. I go more for classical music, blues, jazz. 
So your taste is not gonna be the same for your lifetime. It's gonna change little by little. More you experience, um, more you understand, more refined you get. And closer to classical values you get, it's an inevitable. You know, your car, we can't, we, we all can't pass classical values. They stand upon us. Timeless. Hi. Hello. Timeless. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Timeless classical values, yeah. <laughs> What about Budut? <laughs> well, yeah, the sand was promised. But summertime should be sand back here on the beach. You're gonna see how, it's, how beautiful it's looking. Look like when it's sandy here. Yeah. They make all those sounds. This look like uh, One long rubber bell. Hello guys! Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> yeah. Small sailing boat. A little tiny kubu. See if you build a small deck. And what's interesting about deck, this is, this is a composite material. It's a plastic one. You can see here. Plastic. So you don't need to oil it. Stays the same. Making yeah, um, imi imitation of wood imitation. Right. What color? Mm -hmm. Flowers of this tree was so beautiful smelling. Just a little bit as a fragrance. Just a little bit trash. Trashy trashy. Yeah, I can imagine if each e if each another place could be like this. You see, well, this one. Then you have a messy place. Then you have organized place. Then you have again messy place. But if you imagine that all the places could be like this, how beautiful the coastline could be. Yes, this is a main problem here in the Philippines. You see the, all the jeepneys, even tricycles, like a little bit kind of ugly and primitive and so on and the buildings also you can compare this one and this one 
Don't get me wrong, native houses also can be could be beautiful. But this one looks yeah. Nice design, clean lines. Very functional. So the infrastructure defines quality of the place. Mm -hmm. That's a flower. It smells amazing. Mm. <laughs> intelligent smell. Like very very thin. Oh yeah, what we were talking about uh, um, investment here in the Philippines. Place with potential. A little bit more long term potential than short term. <sighs> and, uh, I think about long term potential, why? Yeah, how well, many things here are in uh, just the stage of beginning. And again, when I'm looking look back on the development of the Europe, how it was 20 years ago, how it's now. For me, it's very difficult to imagine the Philippines in 20 years will be even close. Also, uh, what the benefit of the Europe is, European Union, we have many nations uh, working together and same time competing and improving uh, systems, as you're able to see from the neighbor, how he's doing, what's good, you may make uh, something better. Same, cooperate. And that's what's happening now in Europe. And it's still a little bit distant, you know. All the nations have their own uh, approaches and governments and so on. But still, this um, willingness to improve is present and excel. A very big benefit is the homologation, homologation rules, which uh, are implemented in different areas. Laws, regulations, production regulations, so many things which uh, makes it more easy to work and produce in the market. Like it's more than 500 million people in the European Union. And, um, okay. Yeah, it's gonna help. Hey, and Europeans always have been uh, resourceful, hey, inventful, inventful in inventions, also production, culture, science. So yeah. 
The power of it is immense, you know, you can't compare it with, the, with, the, with the Southeast Asia. With Asia in general, yes, but Asia in general is too fragmented. And uh, you can't say that neighbors have uh, very good relationships. They are still a little di distant. I can't say they are worse than uh, uh, in Europe because you remember First World War, Second World War, which was just you know, the European powers exercising the flexing the muscles and exercising sil silliness. Which always any flexing of the muscles are silly. And. Uh, so they are not worse than, uh, than in Europe, but they are not even much more better because the competition is there in, in place. You know, people compete for the resources, for, for a place in the market and so on. And they are not uh, sharing so much common uh, wisdoms and, 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 and uh, common willingness to work together. And, cooperate and so on. They live more or less isolated. And when I speak with local people, what do you think about you know your neighbors or the Philippines and Indonesia? Um, yeah they kind of not not gonna tell you anything crazy fluttering. Uh, well I guess that's it for me in the sun. Maybe some more minutes, some one minute more, and then that's it. I saw the local fisherman. I was thinking maybe I can make talk with him a little bit. Oh, dying people come over. Diving van. Diving, yeah. Which is your kind of choice for today, where are you going to go? 200. 200 meters from here. Pamila Khan, yeah? This is Pamila Khan. 200, yeah? It's going to be distance 200 meters in the sea. Yeah, yeah beautiful day. I see a huge amount of the people. How many? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, nearly eight, nine people. Yeah, nice people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. uh, get the fuel tank. And this, this is the boat I guess we're gonna go. This black yeah. one. Yeah. I'm the driver. Oh, you're 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 in charge here, yeah? Yeah. And here's the, the operator of the rubber boat. So I see your boat each day because I'm here very often. Yeah. So wh where is your where is your office or? Uh, They're in Katarman Dive Shop. In Katarman, yeah. Yeah. What I'm the name the of the company? Uh, Katarman Dive Shop. Katarman Dive Shop, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. What you can offer for the people like me who uh, don't dive with just a snorkel? Do you have some offers for the snorkeling? Like, yeah, snorkeling maybe. Uh, maybe I know in Panglao, Alona. Alona, yeah. yeah. But here is this dive. Diving, diving. Diving, yeah. Shut your mouth, Dalsha. How big is this boat? What? How big is boat? It's like six meters. I don't know how big is this. Not sure. Okay. The engine. The engine Two hundred meters in the in the sea. Two hundred meters, yeah, not so far away. 
Oh, I see they mainly have uh, snorkeling masks. They have only snor snorkeling masks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see they're not gonna go for the for the dive, just a snorkel. It's yeah. not gonna yeah. Uh huh. Are you you know how to dive? No, I have been diving, but I have no 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 certification. Uh, no open sea certification. Oh, so. okay. But I I I was dived oh. also in North Sea, which is very kind of you need to have the weights and everything. Yeah, and yeah. So this kind of trick. Uh, I don't know how much. I don't know. Uh, maybe 15, 15,000 feet. 15,000, 3 days. 3 days, yeah. yeah. So how long have you been in the Philippines? 2 months, I'm gonna stay. Ah, 2 months. I'm gonna stay in May. Ah, I'm gonna stay in May. A long vacation? Yeah, I'm going to try. Is it gonna be more sand in the March? March? You see, there's not so much sand here. Uh, just like this. Just okay. only this, yes. Because I was here in last year in March. It was much more sand. Yeah, yeah, but the sand is just like this. Yeah. Just washed away. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Come, it's come back. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it, no. 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 Just yeah. a whip, just. No, it, not come back the sand. No. It washed away, yeah. There in Dumaluan Beach. So. The sun is so fine. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. uh, Malone yeah. Beach. Oh yeah. <coughs> so guys, gonna go for the snorkeling. Yeah. Yeah. If I wanna rent a boat like this and and go around the islands, maybe you offer something, like a, just uh, to ra ride your boat. Uh, maybe uh, I will tell the the owner. The owner. I don't know how much you're gonna pay for for that. Mm -hmm. You're a blogger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the the Katerman diving shop, yeah. Yeah. Katerman. Again, maybe I can find it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. You you'll see beside the road. There's a billboard there that that put Katerman dive shop. Mm -hmm. What about Facebook page? I don't know their Facebook page. Not sure. Yeah, I'm, because I'm just new there, just new a new there. driver. <laughs> mm -hmm. Resorts. Resorts. And Mindanao is more industrialized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, you see this beautiful view. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. <laughs> and that's also the quality of the life if you see this beauty each day. Yeah, it's valuable. Less hassle, less cars, less, tra less yeah. traffic. Oh, less traffic here in yeah. Bohol. Yeah. Also less traffic. less traffic. But in Mindanao, so traffic there. Which city in Mindanao? Again, the Oro city. Oro, yeah. yeah. What about beaches in uh, in uh, Mindanao? Mindanao um, just a small beaches only in Mindanao, not like here. Just a big beach yeah. here. The Maluan is very a long, big, uh, long yeah, one. Yeah, it's a beautiful beach. Yeah. Long, beautiful place. Yeah. Which islands you have been else? Where, where else? Um, Kamigen. Kamigen, yeah. Yeah, Kamigen. Only Kamigen. <laughs> like, Kamigen is beautiful. Yeah, huh? yeah, also beautiful. You have Kamigen. like wide st stretch of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what is what they call that yeah. white beach. Yeah, yeah. Have you been in Pamilakan? Not yet. Not yet, yeah. yeah. I have been only in the Virgin Island and yeah, uh, yeah. Sikihor. Sikihor. But I was in many islands here in Bantaya, and okay. Malopasco, Mindoro. Oh. So I was traveling like yeah, Negros, old yeah. Negros, I was traveling with bike. Oh, okay. And I'm still thinking about the Mindanao. Should I go there <laughs> and. Uh, it's dangerous. <laughs> People say it's dangerous for, yeah. uh, for the tourists. Yeah, maybe it's dangerous. Mm. Dangerous when for local people, it's, it's okay. You know, there's no no problem. Have you been in Zamwa Zamwanga? Zamwanga. Uh, no, the, but in Iligan. Illegal? Yeah, Iligan, Iligan city, Cagayan, yeah. Iligan. Iligan, yeah. yeah. It's so scared, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared of. You scared winter. also? Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. So local people also are yeah, yeah. a little comfortable, yeah. And for the for the tourists, it's even much more 
Ja. Een beetje zat, ja. Hmm. Well, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a little bit problem, yeah. Yeah. I move also here in Bol because it's so peaceful here. Mm -hmm. Not like my hometown there. <laughs> Just like I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, I heard, I, I met one guy. I was in, uh, in Cebu Island all the way to Danbantayan. And he was making the small shop in the roadside to selling the fruits. Yeah. He came also from Mindanao. Mindanao. Yeah. Where in Mindanao? I don't remember oh. because it was last year we had this discussion, but I, I remember he told that uh, Cebu, and actually the island of Cebu, it's also beautiful end of this island, yeah? Uh. If you're gonna go down Bantayan, it's same beach like here, and yeah. e even some places even better. Yeah. Like Bantayan Island is very beautiful, be beautiful Santa Fe beach. There's many islands which is like white sand beach all the way there. Yeah. So, and uh, the resorts are pumping up and there are more jobs in <coughs> tourism business. So he moved also and he told me that it's, it's peaceful and, uh, yeah. and less trafficy. It is. And today is specifically a very quiet day. Yeah. Monday. 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 It's a working day working and have a class yeah, yeah. <laughs> in school. Children are Maybe back so in many school. people here. Uh, day off, Sunday, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was busy, busy, busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's busy, a family busy, day. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> today is very peaceful. <clears throat> very peaceful day. Yeah, it is. So we see how far away they are. Something like you know, 200 meters already. I'm gonna go for the snorkeling. They have a class for the diving. Yeah. The first day is a snorkeling, yeah, yeah. and then it's a first day you uh, maybe at Yuri. Yeah? I don't know what theory. Theory. Yeah. And the next day the swimming pool, mm -hmm. and the third day here. Third day back yeah. in, uh, in the diving. Yeah. I was just snorkeling with the, with the, with the goggles, yeah. Uh, you go not so far away, you can see the small corals already yeah. and small fishes dancing around. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, they stopped, yeah. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah. What's your go. name? Yeah. My name is Henrik. Uh, Brian. Brian, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna see you around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I see the Brian also moved from uh, Mindanao to beautiful Bohol. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh. I was checking your boat today because there's some some uh, some person sells the boat here, something same like yours boat for the sale and I was wondering do you you need to pay for the parking boat parking here yes sir because uh, you need to pay for this one yeah yeah uh -huh. and I was thinking you know the if I'm gonna buy the boat like this can I park my boat also somewhere here it's difficult to find a place no no sir but, but uh here is it is it So it's not so easy to find a parking place, yeah? Parking place here? Yeah, for the boat. It's me. Now, if, if I want my boat. My, your boat? I want to put here. It's possible or? No, it's okay. It's, uh, here is, is a very, very well, people. Uh, oh, quiet, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you go fishing with this boat? Fishing? Yes. 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 Do you sell the fish? Yes, sir. You sell? Yes. When, when, when people can come over here, like for example me, can I come over and buy the fish from you? You buy the fish here? Fish. Fish, fish yeah. Uh, I know it's a small piece here, but uh, do you like it? Do you like this small, small fish? fish? Yeah. yeah.
and that is you catch by the net net or the hooks no but the hooks hooks, hooks yes. on there. Mm -hmm. how far away you need to go to the sea to get a fish mm, uh, Hop, hop in the in the uh, island this half uh, island to the uh, Pamilakan here yeah. in in the island Pamilakan half in part uh, yes. What kind of fish you can get there? Ah, uh, tulingan tamarong. Tamarong. Yes, tu tulingan suka or sa ano tambaka. tambaka. Mm. And uh, size? Yes, size or small size. Small, small. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gonna go today also for the fishing? I don't know, but uh, change the color. Uh, paint too. Paint it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you see, I'm, I'm thinking about the bus boating stuff here. difficult to say yeah if you use very oftenly like a few times in a week but if you're tourist you get yeah you get tired of the boating all the time the boating in in ocean is in the weather like this when it's sunny peaceful and quiet it's okay but it's not all the days the same sometimes it's kind of yeah <laughs> as you can imagine <clears throat> see, see, and you may go maybe uh, I don't know maybe like once in a week, twice in a week, at most, and otherwise, hmm. so I need to find some kind of partnership with someone, take a boat and go around. Well, that's it for me in the beach today. Here we have a clouds, here we have a weather. Well, that's, that's the pattern of the weather which you can have here. A little bit sun, a little clouds. What I uh, kind of figure out, the good weather here is around uh, 12 o'clock. From 12 to 2 for the few last days. Same pattern. You wake up in the morning, it's sunny, around 8. Then it's get cloudy around yeah, around 10. Then it gets sunny around 12. And then it gets cloudy again around 3. Yeah. Well, I may rent a boat and go around the island, I guess. It could be interesting. You see, this guy is a little bit problematic. And of course, this garbage. Because you see that someone need to pick up all those glass. Those glass bottles not going to be disappearing any any anytime soon. Not maybe even in a hundred years. Plastic and glass. That's a problem. And when the people leave behind all this mess, if you like, come on. To this one. That's a problem.
uh, looks like kind of land development. of your life here defines also by size of your land plot. You have a big land plot so you can make it your own small paradise. Stornino. Happy Fiesta, January 1415.
it's gonna be uh, good internet connection a little bit less uh, stray dogs sorry guys they're watching me and 